Hey kids, how's everybody out there in YouTube land this evening? 9-11, 9-11, 2018. A day we'll, none of us are ever going to forget, I imagine, but still, painful, painful day. Um, hey Coyote, how you doing? So I thought I'd be back to the boat by now. Hey John Stratton, sorry John, second Coyote beat you by just a split second. Um, I thought I'd be back to the Lily 2 by now, but as you can see... I am here at the stop and shop dock waiting for the water taxi to take me back to the boat. Hey, Canadian, how you doing? He's on his way here, so he should be here momentarily. Doug and I ran some errands today, had to pick up some items. Uh, Doug took me over to uh, Harbor Freight Tools and uh, got some nice clamps and an Allen wrench and some files and a couple of things I needed, Not nothing major. Um, and we went over to Micro Center because I have figured out that I can, uh, my, my GoPros and my Canon camera will all download whatever they have on their hard drives to my iPhone for editing with iMovie <clears throat> if I use USB, I'm sorry, if I use Bluetooth. I can download through Bluetooth uh, and, and Wi Fi. They'll talk to each other and download. So uh, that's a good fix. The only problem is, is that my drone. Will not. My drone, my, my DJI Phantom 4, as far as I know, does not have uh, Bluetooth capabilities. Um, it has to be plugged in directly into my iPad, which it does. Um, hmm, which it does. Hmm. Anyhow, trying to figure out some way of getting it to be able to download its footage onto my phone. Which may have been an exercise in futility. What I was looking for today is a micro SD card reader that will connect to my iPhone or my iPad. I'm looking for a micro SD uh, card reader that will plug into my iPhones using the you know the iPhone cord for that. Um, huh. Anyhow, the, uh, the version of that that works with um, all non-iPhones, you know, regular Android-type phones, was $8 at, uh, at Micro Center. It was $8 for the little connector, so not bad, not expensive, certainly doable. Uh, however, the iPhone equivalent of that was 50 bucks. That's right, five zero fifty dollars $50 for that. Uh, absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Um, just, just absolutely ridiculous. I, I don't understand why the iPhone version is fifty, the Android version is eight. So, I'm a little, I'm a little ticked off today, but uh, it's all good. It's all good. We're working out some of the details so we get all this stuff working here. Let me see what I've missed in the chat while I'm waiting here on the water taxi. So. Uh, uh, hey, Mark. Hey, Plastic. Hey, Frank. Hey, Ahoy, Skipper. Um, if I miss anybody, I'm sorry. Jefferson, Johnny Hag. <clears throat> uh, what storm? Uh, keep safe, Carl. We'll see you soon. Yes, the day Bush planes flew into buildings. Yep, the day Bush flew. Plane, Bush, Bush flew. Okay, we're not going into that. Uh, hey, Steve's Vids. Evening. Okay, good morning. Hey, Dick. How you doing? Hey, Andy. Okay. Wow. Can't type again. Skip. Okay. Uh, even then, okay. Apple is always like that. Yeah, right? Oh, Apple products over here. Hey, water taxi is here. See? There he is. So let me go down the dock and get on board. Now, this might get a little shaky. I'm going to have to transfer you onto my shirt. You're just going to have to bear with me for a while while I make my way down. You're just going to get jiggled around a little bit and not have a very good camera angle. But I got to hold on to the ramp because it's low tide. And so it's a bit of a hill. Plus I have to step onto the boat and I'll need my hands for that. So I'm carrying a bag full of stuff. So, And there's the water taxi. You can see him there. Howdy, howdy. Hi. Hope you folks don't mind. I'm in the middle of doing a live stream on my YouTube channel. So. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. See you later tonight. There you go. 
Hey man, what's up? How you doing? Uh, huh? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is real low. So, this ever dry? Uh, it, it was dry. Some, no, it was wet. Some of the sat on. Is it safe to sit on now? Safe to sit on now. You sure? I'm not going to get paint on my butt? Nope. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. All right. Good deal. So, here we go, guys. We're on the water taxi. Say hello to everybody. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. So, there you go. We're on the water taxi heading back over to Lily 2. Uh, not sure I'm going to be able to respond to much in the chat here, but uh, Apple products are overrated. Must be a software thing. No boat show for me this year. Oh, Johnny, sorry to hear that. Just no reason I'll never own an iPhone or Apple computer. Yep. Yeah, boat ride today, guys. We're going on a boat ride. So, uh, the crap boat ride. 70 people watching Carl, popular dude. Well done, big guy. Thanks, Holy Skipper. That's, uh, that's nothing. We'll get to 120 or 130 for the live streams over. Uh, iPhone, guess what you got, you got to pay for, right? Hit the like button. Thank you, Dick. Okay, Frank said he slept. Okay, so anyhow, guys, here we are. Very low tide right now. We actually had a really high tide today, didn't we? Yeah, so tell them how high the tide was. How high was the tide? Uh, we got the seawall over there and... A seawall over there, yeah. Today was really bad yesterday. The water actually came over the seawall. That, that oh really? Wow. Wow. Yeah, you think this is storm surge from the hurricane down south? Oh yeah. Yeah? Okay. So we have a little storm surge already affecting here in Manhasset Bay. We've had a really high, high tide. In fact, I went over to the fuel dock today with my boat easily two hours before the scheduled high tide. And uh, let me tell you, it was already at, I mean, visually it looked like we were at high tide even though it said we were two hours away. So the water went up even higher than that. In fact, I noticed the uh, the dock here at the Stop and Shop dock was was flat, absolutely flat. There was no climbing any hill to get up or down. It was just flat. So, already having a little bit of storm surge from Florence all the way up here. So, take a fireball shot. Yeah, I don't have the fireball anymore. I uh, donated it to uh, one of the one of the water taxi guys actually. So. Uh, Hey, taxi guys, famous now. Hold on, Carl. Hoy Skipper says you're famous now. They're saying hello to you. So, give me your name and all. I'm Connor. Uh, I've been doing this job for like about three years now. And I, I like it. I'm the first one here, last one to leave. I start up the second week of March, and I stay here until Christmas. So, there you go. So, now Connor is a uh, longtime water taxi chauffeur. And uh, I tell you what, he's really good handling the boat, that's for sure. Now we're on the Sarah M, isn't that what this is named, the Sarah M? You guys got to see this little boat, it's really cute. It's got a roof over it, it's got comfortable seating all the way around. I think it's got a Yanmar diesel, little Yanmar, little Yanmar diesel on it. Got a nice little bow set up up here and an access door out that side. It's very, very comfortable to ride on. It's very, very comfortable to be picked up. I actually prefer this boat over anything else in their fleet. Uh, it also gives you the best protection from, from weather, uh, from spray coming up over the bow because it's it's kind of sticks up kind of nice and high. Got a lot of free board. Just a really nice little boat. And Connor is the captain tonight wearing his 9-11 uh, sweatshirt. Well, one day out of the year. One day out of the year. There you go. Fire Department of New York, New York Police Department. So there you go. So anyhow, we're heading out to the bay. We're right here by the town dock. Let me show that video over there. That's the town dock over there. That's Louie's restaurant, a really good place to eat. And there's the yacht clubs and a bunch of other service yards and stuff down that way. Along with a couple other marinas. And we're going out through the anchor because I'm back out on my anchor tonight. And I tell you, I am way out on my anchor. I am about as far as you can get without being outside of the bay. I'm all the way out by the far buoy right now, so it was kind of uh, kind of crowded when I went to move out today, so I had to anchor kind of quite, way far out. So, plus I put out a hell of a lot of scope, so I don't I have to worry about dragging anymore. I probably have 120 feet of line and uh, and maybe 22 feet of water, so I should be pretty good for right now. Let me check the chat here real quick while you guys enjoy the views. 
Um, okay, Frank is deleting comments left and right, apparently. Uh, they're saying, hello, Connor. High tide tonight in Savannah is plus 10.8 feet. Now, Savannah usually only has like two or three feet of tide. And they're up 10.8 feet. So that's going to be like seven feet above high tide for them. Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy. Nobody forgets where they were and what was going on 9-11. That's right, PC guy. Apple expensive, expensive to fix. Friend sent a laptop to a guy in New York repair. Bring us in. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, Michael. Okay, wow. Apparently we're having a little bit of troll trouble, huh? Frank, you even deleted Bubba? Uh-oh. Okay, no politics, guys. Yeah, no politics. This is a politically free, religion-free chat here, so we don't get into that. In the meantime, I'll let you guys get a little get a little boat porn going here. Let you guys look at some of the boats that are out here in the bay as we go through the anchorage. Nice little catamaran there. Some power boats. Lots and lots of sailboats. This area here in Manhasset Bay, this is, you know, it's kind of like Newport or Annapolis. It's just a really big, uh, just a really big uh, sailing community. So, a lot of sailboats. Uh, uh, actually, an abnormal ratio of sailboats to powerboats here, with sailboats definitely outnumbering the powerboats. What'd you say? Probably three to one. One. Or more, yeah, yeah. A lot of sailboats out here, so. Okay. So, Frank, exactly. Good evening, gentlemen and ladies. Hey, Slipstream, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Steve's Vids. Well, anyhow, guys, give an idea of some of the boats. Beautiful evening out here. Sorry we already missed the sunset, but I thought you guys might enjoy. There's a little bit of now 40 you guys to look at. I've never been a big fan of twin steering wheels on a sailboat. I understand the advantage of them, especially for racing, you know, you get to be on the high side and look down your boat. But I never really liked the idea of having two steering wheels. Just seems like that much more to go wrong on the boat. I kind of like simple systems. Uh, but that Benetow 40 had twin wheels on it, so all well and good. There's another pretty boat. Lots of cool sailboats out here. Let me let me turn around so I can see what you guys are seeing. There's a little Oceanus 45. Beautiful boat. There's Neverland. There's another Benito right there. And we're heading, I am, I am like way out there by that schooner. Out in the boondocks. You know, the other day I was out here, I didn't have enough scope out. And I was anchored like over here where these guys are. I dragged almost all the way over to the yellow building. I asked how much to drag. And you know what, it was funny because Matt was bringing me out. I'd been in town all day. Matt brought me out and the boat was exactly where it was when I left it but it just started dragging when he got me to the boat. I mean, he got me there with the, to the boat. I, it must have not dragged more than 50 feet. And I got on it, was able to get stopped and taken care of. So, good thing I got there when I did. Anyhow, guys, this area over here, this is all mooring balls and stuff. And the, and, uh, the yacht club and all that behind us, that's all mooring balls. This is the anchorage. This is the designated anchorage out here in this area. You notice there's no mooring balls. Uh, on these boats, these are all at anchor. So these are all the real boats out here. And I don't see my boat. I think I'm. I think I'm. Oh, I'm behind that power boat there, aren't I? Either that or that power boat grew a mast. <laughs> Anyhow, you guys can see it's getting kind of late out here. Getting kind of dark. Fortunately, my phone does fairly well in dark, but. 
So how much later are you gonna run till tonight, Connor? Uh, I run until eight, but the taxi stays open until ten. Well, there you go. If you guys want to go for a tour of the of the bay here tonight, would actually be a night, good night for a tour. Yeah. Nice and smooth out here, and just a little gentle breeze, nice and comfortable. Not too hot, not too cold. There's a nice little sailboat there. Hello, guys. Beautiful boat. More beautiful boats. And then I'm right on the other side of this guy. Now, he was not there when I set my hook. He is anchored really close to me. I am not happy about that. Because I got like 120 feet of line out. Although my anchor is really out over here someplace. Watch my floating line. Remember, it floats. Oh. Huh, I thought I left my anchor kind of out over this way, although it's showing it going out that way, doesn't it? Yeah, well, remember, my line floats, so definitely don't want to run it over and get it in a prop. I'll never hear the end of it from Matt. No, he'll let you have it. Huh? He does not like uh, untangling props. No. No, that would be cool. All right, guys, I got to put you on my shirt here while I jump from one boat to the next. So hold on. <clears throat> I'll wait here. Do you get me where you want me? Excellent. Thank you, Connor. You're welcome, Carl. Awesome, dude. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Connor, you take good care of yourself, buddy. Have a safe night. You have a good night. Talk to you later, ma'am. All right. Open the hatch. Hello, dog. How much damage did you do down there? Oh, you knocked one thing over. Not bad. Not bad. There you go. Oop, missed the hook and dropped that. All right, kids, let's go down below and I'll get some lights on so we can finish the live stream. Hold on a minute. Yes, I know, Lily. Oh, poor dog. You were left all alone all day today. Nah, she wasn't all day. I didn't go till this afternoon. Not been gone all that long, actually. Let me kick some lights on. There we go. Cool. Cool, all I need is a cold beverage. And we'll sit down and, watch and, and start the live stream like we're supposed to be doing. So hold on a second while I get myself a, uh, a cold one, guys. Oh, that's the right cold one, too. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to grab two of them while I'm in here. Because it just makes that a lot easier. Oh, I forgot to close that up. Close that up. Sit them beers over there. Put this stuff back over here. You know, when you have a small sailboat... You do something called the sailboat shuffle. If you want something, you got to move everything from over here to over there and over there to over here before you're able to get in and get all the things that you want. And so I'm just doing the sailboat shuffle here. Two beers inside cold containers. Dog, you knocked my towel off. All right, come on, get back. Get back. There you are. <laughs> Sorry about all that, guys. I really thought I was going to be back to the boat long before now, but uh, due to circumstances beyond my control, uh, this is when I got back here. So, all right, let me set this up. See what I do? I put you guys up on this tripod so you're up at a reasonable height and uh, not looking up my nose like you are right now. Hold on one second. Boom, there we go. Okay. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Now, I did happen to stop and pick up some dinner on the way home just because it got really late. It's not for you, dog. So, got myself a burger and I picked up some provisions and some stuff. So, we'll get to all of that after the live stream. Sorry I made you guys wait. Sorry it took so long. Sorry you had to go for a boat ride. Although I think, I think you guys like going on the boat rides. And with that said, this is this is specifically for for Pilot and for uh, and for Billy. 
<laughs> Heineken time, kids. Yeah, life is good. Life is good. So, all right. Oh, please don't put me on a pedestal. All right, let me go back. I probably missed a crap load of stuff. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to keep it easy. If there was anything really important for me to see in the chat, please repeat it so I don't have to go back through all of that because I know I missed a whole bunch. So, Billy's laughing. <laughs> Billy's laughing and Pilot gets upset. All right, well, that tells you a lot about the character of those two guys, doesn't it? Ah, crapola. There we go. I can see. Let me get my fan on. Ah, oh, nice. 78, 78 degrees here on the boat. Cheers, everybody. Here's to you. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. All right. If I didn't say hello to you, I'm sorry. I was preoccupied with the boat moving and all that. So I wasn't trying to be rude. It's just that I was trying to do a lot of stuff all at once, and I can only multitask just so much. So, so there you go. So, hello, everybody. And if I didn't say hello to you specifically, uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, lots of action tonight. Glad you were running late. Hey, no plastic. That's cool. Yep, Lily's always a happy dog. Carl, how come you don't use your dinghy and new outboard? Uh, big, <laughs> which dinghy? My old dinghy, which is really too small for someone my size, it doesn't have a solid floor, and so it tends to, it tends to, you know, not sit very well. I'm actually too much weight for it. And my new dinghy has a hole in the side, so that's why I'm not using my dinghy. So, and today I paid for a mooring ball, so I got the I got the shuttle for free because I paid for a mooring ball from last night. So, so there you go, slipstream. All all of those answers. Oh, has been. Everything is awesome here on the boat. It really is. It's awesome here. The secret of life lies buried above in this very chat. The secret of life lies buried above in this very chat. Well, okay. I guess I'm going to miss it because I'm not going to go back through all that stuff again. That's my price I pay for being lazy, I guess. I just don't want you guys to have to sit here and wait while I go, do, 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 while I'm reading all the comments. So. I do enough of that stuff. I try not to do that too often if I don't want to. Do you want to go out? Go on. Go on. Good girl. She wants to go up on deck. Got a lot done today, actually. Uh, two more hurricanes forming off the coast of Africa. You and Lily may have to make miles in between storms. Uh, yeah, Patreon, I, I am watching. Uh, I'm watching that, obviously, on a... Uh, uh, not necessarily hour by hour basis, but I'm certainly checking uh, Vent You Sky, or as I was corrected yesterday, it might actually be pronounced Ventuski. If you're Polish or Russian, you might call it Ventuski, V E N T U S K Y, or, you know, the American version of it, which is Vent You Sky. Either way, it all works for me, but I check it probably three, maybe four times a day. Maybe more sometimes, depending on what I'm doing. So we're keeping a very close eye on what's going on uh, with the storm. So, yeah, we ran all over the place today. We really did. We went a lot further today than I thought we were going to go. Uh, do I have a date for pulling the anchor? No. Uh, as far as heading south, it, it is all weather dependent at this point. I don't have a single job on the boat that's going to have that's going to keep me here. There's nothing I'm waiting for right now. Well, no, that's not true. That's not, not true at all. I lied. I'm waiting on bulbs. A very good dear friend of mine sent me some uh, some some uh, LED bulbs to replace my my incandescent. I have incandescent bulbs in those two lights. Uh, I have another light just like them in the head, and another one in the V berth. And a really good guy who's who's on here right now and is welcome to say who it is if he wants to. But I'm not going to name him out because I don't want him to get any retribution from anybody so anyhow he sent me some bulbs and they'll be here sometime uh within the week or so so that's the only thing that i would have to wait for uh but that's pretty minor actually so uh really right now we're just weather dependent it all depends on the rain the snow the wind mostly wind wave height is the big issue right now so that's what we're watching so uh, I saw those forming. We are calling an EMA meeting. Okay. Carl will be here till October. <laughs> Might very well be. 
Uh, great to see Captain Carl in good spirits. Oh, Woody, I'm awesome, man. Uh, I missed any news. No, Trav really didn't miss anything. Hello, Gary. Great video about the weather route planning. I liked it a lot. Should do more, at, and I will be, Dick. I was trying to work out some technology, and in fact, the one of the errands that I ran today was trying to uh, further uh, develop that technology, uh, but I didn't see it. Uh, Frank, I did not read your message about the dinghy yet, no. Uh, I wasn't going to go back and read all the messages, so if you had something about the dinghy that was important, then please repeat it for me. Um, I just don't want to have to have everybody suffer through while I read slowly. I don't want everybody to suffer through while I'm sitting here trying to reread all the stuff that I missed. So, uh, yeah, truth finder, I hear what you're saying. Uh, in fact, I have a lot of real concerns about being able to, to travel the ICW, uh, this year behind Florence. Uh, she's going to redraw the map and, uh, it's going to get fugly out there. It's going to get real fugly. Um, uh, you know, you're going to need to have an incredibly good uh, depth finder. You're going to have to rely on a lot of up-to-date knowledge from people from the recent changes that are happening. Because you know, it'll just it'll just move all the sand around, and and redraw the map. All the all the places where it's supposed to be deep enough won't be deep enough. All the places where it's supposed to be shallow might be deep enough. Uh, there's going to be a lot of problems, which really is putting uh, a pretty good amount of pressure on me to think about going offshore. Really is. It's really putting a lot of pressure on me to thinking about going offshore, uh, about maybe doing a, you know, uh, you know, 12 day offshore run. If I had some crew on board that would uh, enable us to switch off back and forth, uh, might, might have to give that some serious consideration instead of doing the ICW, because I think the ICW, especially through the Carolinas is going to be an absolute cluster going to be an absolute cluster. Uh, I'm sure a lot of the uh, channel markings and that kind of stuff are all going to get relocated. Uh, the storm's going to pick them up and put them all kinds of places where they shouldn't be. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be a real mess. So with that, let me back up a little bit in the chat and see what I missed. Um, download iHurricane or Hurricane. Yeah, I, I watch the hurricane on a daily basis. And not for the Mercury, Doug. Okay, Doug, can Carl trick or treat at your house? Oh, yeah, huh? Uh, good about likes. You'll be happy to have them. Oh, I certainly will be, yep. I see on your way down the Jersey coast, your first stop will be at Sandy Hook. We used to stay at the Cove at Sandy Hook. Every weekend when I lived in New Jersey, we always had a good time, about 25 boats. Cool, Frank, that's neat. Call her a place. Uh, light bulbs with LEDs and out of six there is three that flash off and on for some unknown reason if anybody might know I would like to hear huh I don't know were they all identical bulbs maybe three of them have built-in flashers in them or something sent it in a text earlier oh okay Frank uh, yeah I didn't read that because I was I was right in the car with Doug he was just dropping me off when that came in Frank I did receive your text. I have not had a chance to read it yet. Um, it, uh, it was a big, long text. I've not had a chance to read that yet. So I will I will get to that here in a little bit. Uh, did most have run die? Been warned, Doug. Severe shoaling charts. Um, will be wrong. Buoys of station, marinas closed, fuel hard to find, unavoidable. Yeah, I, I agree with all that, truth finder. I predict Christmas in New York this year. No, no, no. Oh, hell no. Hell no. No, 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 no. I'm not going to be here that long. Uh, from Freeport, Texas. Hey, Dutchman. What's up, man? Just gone back from a seven day cruise in the Caribbean. Awesome. A working autopilot. With yes. If I'm going offshore, Dick, that I definitely will make sure the autopilot is working. So uh they will have to dredge many areas i'll make him a special get out of there go lay down she smells my dinner on the table and she wants it i'm not eating it so she figures she's going to help herself so she's trying to inch her way closer and closer closer to the hamburger that's in a bag for me so uh bulbs were all the same okay nude beach of sandy hook <laughs> yeah no 
switch pipes and switches and headlight switches. You got another flashing. Okay. They are on a dimmer that they will strobe. Offshore sounds exciting for your channel. Hope you can find crew. Yeah, no plastic. That might be, uh, it certainly would be the fastest way to get down. Um, you know, going 24 hours straight, my boat can do 100 miles a day. So I could be there in like, you know, 10, 12 day passage. I could just be there instead of it taking 40 days to get there. Uh, I'll be waiting for a while. You got a handle on damage ICW sail to review to Bahamas Marathon. Nice little sail. Yes, 12 degrees. That's probably what I would do, actually. Uh, although at this point, I don't know what kind of damage the Bahamas may, may experience, depending on what the storms do. So uh, Chesapeake stopped in Savannah, thinking that as far north as we can get this season. Huh. Okay. Uh, you got back just in time. Slipstream, do they flicker? Okay. Good help could equal one experienced sailor. Absolutely, yep. Uh, Carl's going to be Santa. No, 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 no. Uh, Switch is... Oh, oh, wow, I caught up with everything. Okay. Dog will float, maybe in his dinghy. Okay. <laughs> Freeport has storm on the horizons too, sadly. Huh. As in Freeport in the Bahamas, that Freeport, there's a lot of Freeports. There's a Freeport here on Long Island. So I assume you mean Freeport in the Bahamas. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of activity going on. You know, it's, it, the uh, hurricane season has been nil, really, you know, batting zero up until uh, Florence is coming along. And now all of a sudden we're getting a lot of excitement. So in our church company, the name itself, Ventusky. The combination of two words, the first Latin word ventus means wind, and the second is the English word sky. Well, there you go, Triton's trumpet has sent us true. So, since it's a Czechoslovakian, which of course doesn't exist anymore, there is no Czech anymore. I guess there's a Czech Republic still, I don't know. I know there's no Yugoslavia anymore. Uh, was there, it's not Yugoslavia anymore, they renamed it, so. But, so I guess that's it, it's Ven Ventuski, uh, Ventuski, yeah, das ist sehr gut. Why am I speaking German? I have no idea. <laughs> da. Da Ventuski. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. In a goofy mood. I'm having too much fun. 107 people watching and only 19 thumbs up. Come on, guys. Pound the thumbs up for us. Help us out there, will you? <coughs> Triton's trumpet. You like that. Okay. So anyhow, we did, we did a lot of running around today. Uh, Isaac is project to go through there, projected to go through there. Okay. You crack yourself up. I do, man. I'm a lot of fun to be with from my, by myself. You know, oh, Freeport, Texas. Okay. That for, see, there's a lot of Freeports. Um, yeah, you know, you've been alone as much as I've been alone after my divorce and all that. You've got to learn to, to find joy where you can find it. And if you can't make yourself laugh at, at your own stupidity and stuff, well, you know, what else are you going to do in life? You know, it's not politically correct to laugh at other people, although there's enough idiots out here in the world doing that today. Uh, it's just that cool. So get out of the bag. There's nothing in here for you. Get. Get. Show you guys some of my treasures I bought to buy. Off my diet tomorrow for breakfast. I bought a little uh, raspberry Danish, so I'm gonna have whoop, gonna have a little raspberry Danish tomorrow. So um, bought some drugs. Get my my just so you know I'm not hiding anything from you. I'm just moving my my VHF. Got some drugs today, man. Got some serious drugs today. Ibuprofen and aspirin. I was out of both. And uh, I've had a bit of a toothache lately. And it, let me tell you something. When you've got a headache and a toothache and you don't have some ibuprofen, not a good situation. Okay, what did I just drop? Oh, I dropped the penny. Okay. I dropped some coins in my bag here earlier, and apparently they just, uh, they said, okay. So I bought some heavy cleaning gloves. That's really exciting stuff. I bought a set of cheap files. That's really important stuff. I couldn't buy a single Allen wrench, so of course you have to buy the set. And of course they don't have one set, you gotta buy two. So I have two complete new sets of, uh, oh, there's a receipt, you don't need that. 
uh, two complete sets, and then I bought these really cool clamps. Okay, so the clamp moves this way, up and down the shaft, so I can make it as long or as short as I need to, and then it's got a hand, a threaded uh, clamp, so it gets really tight. These are very typical for like woodworking and kind of stuff. Very heavy duty, all metal. Uh, I was really impressed with these clamps that I found. This clamp at Ace Hardware was $29. I looked at it the other day, it was $29. Harbor Freight had it for $2.99, guys. $2.99 for that, cl that clamp on sale. So I got two of them. So now I have the clamps necessary so that I can go ahead and do the work on the uh, on the dinghy. There's my other one. So I can do the work on the dinghy and get that stuff done. Now the other big expense that I had today is I bought a pair of work gloves. Bought a pair of work gloves. My old work gloves that I've had on the boat, I'm ripping a hole through them. Uh, these are actually my anchoring gloves. So I needed a, a new pair of anchoring gloves. These were actually almost as much money as all the other tools together that I bought. Ridiculous how much those were. So, Billy, get down. You don't need any of this stuff. This is not for you. You don't need the penny on the floor either. Go lay down. You're not, you, you don't need any of that. So, got my little charger. Put that away. So, anyhow, that's kind of what we've been, uh, what we've been doing today. We went, ran a bunch of errands. We went to Harbor Freight. It was a real long drive over to Harbor Freight. If I had known how far of a drive it was over to Harbor Freight, I would have said, hell with it, let's just go to Ace Hardware or Home Depot even. Um, it was, it took forever. I mean, it took forever driving over to Harbor Freight. I was really surprised at how far, maybe it just seemed that way to me, but it seemed like an awful long drive all the way over to Harbor Freight. Uh, it was all the way over in Middle Island um, closer to the South Shore certainly than the North, so it was uh, it was a long way. So, oh, let's see what I missed in the chat while all of that's been going on. Um, do 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 do. All right, let's see. Ground here in Maryland is like a okay. Wow. Freeport, Texas. Okay, there we are. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we have a storm coming, and we've had rain every day last week at, at Freeport, Texas. Okay. You have to earn the thumbs up, Grasshopper. I'm earning it, Don. Hey, Cliff. What's going on, man? For being nice tonight. I hope I don't get to try out the wrench I was given by someone. There you go. Uh, the ground here in Maryland is like a full sponge. Yep, I imagine it is. Will you get out of my ear? Go lay down. I don't need you breathing my ear and smelling my ear. Czech Republic is still there, but Slovakia split from it, so there are now two states. Okay. What was the drone question you were asked earlier? What was the drone question? Oh, about my drone. Um, my problem is uh, my, my cameras for filming stuff. Uh, I can connect through Bluetooth to my iPhone. Uh, my GoPro cameras will connect, both of them will connect, my Canon camera, I can download uh, pictures and video off of my ca good camera onto my phone uh, with Bluetooth. The only thing I can't transfer pictures of onto my phone is my drone. Uh, my drone records everything onto a little micro SD card uh, and it does no way of connecting that to my phone. My phone doesn't have a micro SD reader certainly. And uh, so what I did today is I went and bought a lightning to you it's backwards I know lightning to USB camera adapter a camera adapter for my iPhone so that I can take my uh, USB um, micro card reader I can take my micro card reader plug it into this USB this is a female USB, not a male USB. Okay, so it's the opposite. Uh, and that way my phone will be able to download the pictures and the video off of that card 
so I can use my drone, fly my drone, film stuff, and be able to upload that footage onto my phone so I can pull it into iMovie and edit videos, much like the one I released to the public, uh, what was it, today or yesterday. Um, so, anyhow. So now I should be, and I've got to test this out, make sure it works right. I'm not sure it's going to work right. But I should be fully functional. I should be able to uh, take video footage off of any of my devices now and be able to use them uh, on my uh, on my iPhone so I can edit video once again. So even though I don't have a laptop anymore and my fancy dancy you know, Adobe Premiere Pro software, I am creating a workaround so that I can be able to do that. Now, here's the thing that ticked me off, though. This little cord, that long, that long cord, okay, which which looks like any cord that you can buy in any gas station in America for three bucks, right? Thirty friggin' dollars for the for the iPhone camera adapter. Lightning to USB camera adapter by I think it's by by Apple. Looks like an Apple box. It, it is. It's an Apple box. Got the little Apple thing on here. Yep. $29.99 for this stupid plug. Stupid. But that's a whole lot cheaper than $510 to fix my laptop, and it's going to get me being able to be functional, so now I can fly my drone and be uploading my drone footage and be able to make videos with it, which is kind of what this is all about, trying to figure out some way of being able to create videos for you guys so you can enjoy following along as we... Uh, as we travel so with that let me step back in and check um, okay uh, okay I guess I gotta go way back sorry guys um, Okay, I'm just not going to go back that far. I'm already wet back. Let's see a freaking headache. Uh, keeping you thinking, planning. Yep, yep, yep. Always, always trying to figure out some way around these storms and stuff. Uh, you'll feel better. Uh, that's why the America's Cajun Navy are sending a thousand boats to the East Coast. Oh, cool. Better get that tooth issue taken care of. Infection is no bueno. I agree. Gotta love those Cajuns. Cajun Navy is awesome. Instead of a Mako shark tooth. I will swap it for a fossilized whale tooth. It is your choice. Act now. There you go, Frank. All right. 30 naval vessels fled their berth today from Norfolk. Oh, wow. Um, okay. And, of course, while well, all of this is going on, as if I don't have enough things I'm dealing with, <laughs> now the battery in my phone is low. Oh, let me get that plugged in. Tell you guys, it has been an uphill day all day today. Uphill day. Let me get you plugged in. Hold on a second. I gotta spin you for a second. And now I lost my place from where I was in the chat. Now I gotta go scroll back. Oh yes, isn't it lovely being a YouTuber? Oh, uh, Lily, get out of there. That's not for you. That's my sandwich. Okay, whatever. I'm going back right here. Uh, Carl the clamp uh, can also be reserved to lift or pry, pray. The clamp can also be reserved to lift or pry, etc. Okay. Get. Harbor Freight has some great products. Congratulations. Hey, Carl, back home in Wolfboro, New Hampshire tonight. Hey, Dave. There you go, man. How you doing? And get yourself out of the way from that storm, I hope. I hope the boat you have down there is doing okay. Maybe goes to sea for storms. Yep. Get a tooth. I spent 25 in gas today running errands with Carl. Uh, I was saying I finally have some days off. The weather is warming up here in northern Victoria now. Hey, Dave Barry. How you doing, brother? Ah, things are things are awesome. Uh, some of their stuff is go some junk. Yep, some made in China. 
Maybe near uh, trying to okay, to Dutch pen. Yep, remember it. Dave Barry, okay, retracted. Uh, take chip out of your drone and put it in your camera, then transfer. Um, hmm. You know, that, uh, See, this is why I have you guys. This is why I have you guys. All right. So, Doug, we got to go back to Micro Center. I'm going to return this stupid $30 part here. I'm not even going to open it up. Just going to return it to him. Because you're right. I can just simply take the SD card out of my uh, out of my drone and put it into my, uh, my GoPro and then connect my GoPro through the Bluetooth. I wonder if it's the same file format and if it'll read that. I'll have to film some tomorrow with it and then I'll try that. We'll, we'll put that to the test and see how well that works. But that's a great idea. Thank you for that. Um, uh, they do one for Okay, I'm back to that. Da, da, da. Yep, going down when? Thank you. That's a great idea. You can save screenshots on your phone. Yes, I can save screenshots on my phone. But that doesn't help me for making a video. Do you give Lily any treats? I may be, oh gosh. No, Mary Kay, please, please do not send me any more treats. Lily has treats out the yin and the yang. I kid you not. Um, I probably have seven or eight bags of, of different types of like, you know, begging strips and all those kinds of things. I've got like seven or eight bags of treats. Plus she has two big boxes of dog bones. The last, I don't have room. I just don't have room for any more treats for the dog. Please do not send my dog any treats. I'm, I'm, I'm begging you, Mary, don't. I, she has plenty. She has absolutely plenty. But thank you for the offer. Send Lily a treadmill. <laughs> uh, Doug, can you email me when you get a chance? I have a car question. Okay. Uh, Grandpa, can you save your drone footage from the DJI Go editor on your phone? Um, the DJI Go editor on my phone. You know, I've not tried using that editor, Dave Barry. That might be another way of saving that footage. That might be too. Uh, connect to a generator or an inverter. Well, wouldn't that be nice, huh? Uh, firewood, joy, joy. Oh gosh, sucking BC. Better you than me, brother. I have, uh, I have done my, my, I, I've done doing my life. So, selling nervous is in a in near. Oh man, are they really? Of all people to be stuck in a situation like that, they're the, like the last sailors you want to be in that situation. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, how did I end up in here? What is this channel about? Blackbeard's Wench. Uh, I don't know. It's about all a bunch of crazy stuff. Um, real nervous now. But yeah, I imagine he is. Need to give them to her more often. <laughs> hey, she gets she gets a treat and a bone every day. She gets one of the little tree things and she gets a dog bone every day besides her regular food and water. She she gets plenty. So, big community for the college. Go, Carl. Thanks, Ohio Skipper. Alan's best. Addicted to Harbor Freight. Okay, there's a USB being advertised now called Extra PC. Plug it into any dead computer in and it brings it back to life. Uh, I never heard about that 12 degrees. Wow, I caught up with the chat. Wow, amazing. Okay. Cheers to that. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, time for round two. If you remember this time when I got my beer out, I got two of them all at once. There you go. There. Lovely. Love that sound. Love that sound. So... Uh, the other night we gave our dogs a smoke bone that I saw it in half after they ate it both. Ha well, thanks, Frank. That's not exactly fun stuff to talk about. We never buy those bones again. Wow. Okay. 
Does your DJI Phantom 4 controller have a built-in display? No, my DJI uses my iPad, actually. Uh, it uses my iPad to um, to display what's on the screen. Uh, the or I guess I could also use my cell phone. It could also use my cell phone, but generally speaking, I use my iPad. I like the big screen. It's easier to see. The problem is, is that my iPad doesn't have enough storage availability on it. It's, Lily, get. Dog. Why are you being a pain in the butt? Go lay down. She's trying to knock the damn phone over. Down. Good. Now you stay there. Anyhow, um... My uh, iPad only has 32 gigabytes, and it's almost completely used up. So I, I, could, I could not save a video from my, from my drone onto my iPad. There's just no room left on it to do that. So, uh, 12 throwing out the IT knowledge. I like it. Yeah, yeah, very good. Uh, hey, shot. I just saw it advertised. Don't know any more than it sounded cool, huh? I hope you aren't anywhere near Florence. No, uh, Blackbeard, actually, I'm in Port Washington. I'm in Manhasset Bay in Port Washington, New York, on the north shore of Long Island Sound, uh, right on almost to the Queens Nassau County border. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit out, about 30 miles uh, outside of New York City. So, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not that close in, but thank you. I wish you were nicer to Lily. Well, I wish Lily was nicer to me. I'll just say that. So, uh, good night for me. Stay safe. Hey, ahoy. Talk to you later, brother. Bill Hold. Okay. Uh, what's the title? Hey, what? Uh, hey, folks. Hey, folks. Hurricane Hunter's at the storm right now, so updates coming soon. There you go. Hi, uh, Carl. If you have to look at the DJI Go editor function, you will find that all of your flights are saved to your personal DJI account, and you can manage your video footage from there. Really? So you're saying all of that was was transmitted to DJI, and they have records of all my video footage? That's interesting. I don't know that I ever set that up, but I uh, will check on that and see what's there. Hey, Ms. Shar, how you doing? U-Haul is offering 30 days of free self-storage for residents of Virginia. North Carolina. Oh, nice of them. Way to go, U-Haul. Not a nice comment, Bill Holt. You were sick. Okay, well, I never saw it, so there you go. Yep, on your personal account. Huh, I'll have to check into that, Dave. I, I didn't realize I had a personal account with DJI, but I, I guess I'll have to research that further. Um, I never... Um, Never used it, never accessed it, never saw it. So I guess I'll have to research that and figure out what's going on with that. So anyhow, well, kids, look, we're, um, are you on the boat alone? Me and my dog, just me and my dog on my little 29-foot boat here, which we are waiting for a weather window so we can head south. I want to head south. My plan is to get down to Florida and the Bahamas this coming winter. Blackbeard, just to give you a little background. And I am on a uh, 1974 Cal 229 that I bought at the end of April in Sandusky, Ohio, about 1,100 miles ago. Uh, since then, I sailed the uh, Lake Erie, the Erie Canal, the Hudson River, around Manhattan, Long Island, out to Newport, back to here. Uh, about 1,118 miles so far, and getting ready to head south. So, uh, 12 degrees, we'll talk to you later. Um, DJI does keep files through Skypixel. Okay, great. I'm at Kissimmee State Cloud. Okay. Okay, cool. Who makes those weather windows, Anderson or Pella? Brownswell showing up in Jack's Waves tomorrow. Huh. Carl has ignored that today as 9-11. No, Bill, I have not ignored that today. Uh, had you watched my video this morning, uh, we talked quite about about it being 9/11 this morning. Um, I just didn't see the need to go over all that again today. So, and we were discussing it a little bit earlier in the chat. Um, so, uh, no, I've not ignored 9/11 at all, Bill. Sorry you feel that way. After uh, serving as a volunteer firefighter. 
for eight years. I'm uh, certainly very well attuned to it, and I don't need someone reminding me what happened. I lost a cousin at, during 9-11 that was in one of the buildings working, uh, actually uh, my ex-wife's cousin, to be honest, but still a girl I knew and liked very much. Um, so, you know, I don't know what your problem is, uh, why you think it's important that everybody just stop everything they're doing and talk about 9-11, but we already covered that, so we're moving on. <clears throat> just saw a cow 229 for sale, $4,500, looked in good shape from the pictures. 9-11, the day the world changed. Yep, Trav, absolutely. Uh, get with the program, Bill. Don't try to talk smack when you don't know. Hey, guys. Still puzzling me the Flight 93 making only a hole. Doesn't puzzle me at all. Yep, and we did. We had a moment of silence this morning for uh, all those that passed away. You weren't privy to that, so not a problem. Boat tour, what kind? Oh, it's, it's much too late, much too dark uh, to do a boat tour right now. And, and frankly, my dinner is sitting here getting cold. I kind of like to get to it. So, shameless shout-out time. Let's go ahead and do shameless shout-outs. If you have a YouTube channel or some other social media you're trying to promote, go ahead and give yourself a shameless shout-out. I know Slipstream's on here. He's got a channel, Doug. Uh, Doug does a live stream on Saturdays at 5 p.m., guys. It was 2. It's now 5. Doug's live stream. Car Talk with Doug uh, at Doug's channel um, on YouTube. Uh, check him out Sundays at 5 p.m. Uh, or you can go back to the chat. Look where Douglas has. Click on him. And, uh, and that will... Uh, I don't know. That'll give you a, a, a reference. Anyhow, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end by Cole Berger now. Um, yep, Vegetable Sea Dog. Very good show. Yep, like it. Taking you to know, Sports 65 through Hell's Gate. Wow. Okay. Um, go cars and selling slipstream. Okay. And for those of you that may want to contribute to the uh, adventure here, um waiting to follow your lead first okay there'll be a uh there, there's descriptions in the links down below for uh, my paypal and my patreon should you want to contribute to the adventure uh, that would be great in fact frank is offering some teeth uh some shark's teeth and i think some whale teeth or something i'm not sure what all was exactly there uh as as uh, a gift for those people that donate 25 dollars or more today so if you want to do that, then please uh, let me know. So anyhow, guys, be good. Be careful. We'll see you in the morning. We'll talk to you then, guys. Good night, everybody.